characteristics of animal groups. Observe the flowchart carefully. Animals may be acellular or multicellular. Acellular animals have a single cell that performs all life functions. Protozoans belong to this category. Multicellular animals are further divided into cellular level, tissue level and organ level. In the cellular level, colony of cells are embedded in a protoplasmic matrix, but they are functionally independent of each other. Phylum porifera is one such example. In the tissue level, the body is composed of two layers, outer ectoderm and inner endoderm. They are called diploblastic. Phylum coelentrata is one such example. In the organ level, animals have three-layered body, the ectoderm, mesoderm and the endoderm. They are triploblastic. The triploblastic animals are further classified into acelometa and celometa. Animals which do not have a body cavity are called acelometa. Animals belonging to platyhelminthes and nemathelminthes are acelomates. Animals having true psyllum are psyllomata. Psyllomates include annelida, arthropoda, mollusca, echinoderma and chordata. Summary of classification of animals. The animal kingdom has been classified into invertebrata and chordata. In invertebrata, the vertebral column is not found at any stage of the life cycle. The animals of this group are divided into nine phyla. They are protozoa, example, amoeba, trypanosome, paramecium. Porifera, example, sponges. Celentoretta, example, hydra and obelia. Platyhelminthus, example, tapeworm. Nemathelminthus, example, roundworm. Annelida, example, earthworm and leech. Arthropoda, example, cockroach and centipede. Mollusca, example, snails and octopus. Echinodermata, example sea urchin and sea lily. In the chordata subkingdom, notochord is found at all stages of the life cycle. In protochordata, the notochord persists throughout the life. In vertebrata, the notochord is transformed into the vertebral column. The subphylum vertebrata is further divided into five classes. Physis, example, trout, eel, shark. Amphibia, example, toad, frog, salamander. Reptilia, example, snake, lizard, turtles. Aves, example, sparrows, pigeon, ostrich. Mammals, Example, apes, cat, sheep, whale, man. Invertebrates and vertebrates. The differences between invertebrates and vertebrates have been tabulated here. Invertebrates do not have a vertebral column, whereas vertebrates have a vertebral column to support the body. Invertebrates do not have an endoskeleton, whereas vertebrates have an endoskeleton. A tail is absent in invertebrates, whereas a post-anal tail is usually present in vertebrates. The heart, if present in invertebrates, is dorsal in position. It is ventral in position in vertebrates. The nerve, spinal cord, that is present in invertebrates is ventral in position and it is solid. The nerve cord of vertebrates is dorsal in position and is tubular. 
hemoglobin is generally absent in invertebrates and if it is present, it remains dissolved in blood. In vertebrates, the hemoglobin is present in red blood cells. Invertebrates have more than two pairs of appendages. The vertebrates have two pairs of limbs or appendages. Invertebrata The animals of the group invertebrates are divided into nine phyla. Observe the diagrams carefully to learn more about these nine phyla. Phylum protozoa Protozoa are single cell. They are found in fresh water, in sea water and also in soil. They may be free living or parasitic. A comparative summary of the worms. A comparative study of different worms has been made here. Platyhelminthus. Platyhelminths have flat, ribbon like, unsegmented bodies. They are bilaterally symmetrical. They have a three layered body. Their body cavity is absent. Elementary canal has only one opening which serves as mouth and anus. Nemethelminthes Nemethelminths have soft, round, long cylindrical bodies. They are bilaterally symmetrical. They have a three-layered body. False body cavity is present. Elementary canal has separate opening for mouth and anus. Annelida Annelids have soft bodies with ring-like segments. They are bilaterally symmetrical. They have a three-layered body. True body cavity is present. The elementary canal opens at both ends. Phylum Arthropoda The phylum Arthropoda is the largest phylum in the animal kingdom. Phylum Arthropoda is further divided. Class Mediapoda, Class Insecta, Class Arachnida. The main characteristics of these classes are mentioned here. Class Mediapoda. Their body has numerous segments and each segment bears appendages. The animals belonging to this class have a head with a pair of short antennae. Class Insecta The animals belonging to this class have a body which is divided into head, thorax and abdomen. The thorax bears three pairs of legs and two pairs of wings. Class Arachnida The head and thorax are fused in animals belonging to the class Arachnida. They have four pairs of legs. Wings and antenna are absent in such animals. A comparative summary of the vertebrates. The subphylum vertebrata is divided into five classes. Physis, Amphibia, Reptilia, Aves and Mammalia. The main characters of these classes are summarized in the form of a table. Read through the table carefully.